In this video, we're going to give you a brief introduction to the whole course. What you will learn. So the first thing you will learn is to program GPUs with heap and optimize the GPU program performance. When we want to use GPUs, we care about the performance. So we have to use GPUs to write high performance program. If you're not careful, you may write a program that is slower than the CPU. So we need to know how to optimize the GPU program performance. We need to understand the GPU architecture, and we also need to use the GPU management tools to set the best configuration. We're also going to use GPU libraries. The AMD ROCKM ecosystem provides a lot of GPU libraries that are highly performant, and we can use them without worrying about bugs. Also, finally, we're going to demonstrate how to do machine learning on AMD GPUs using the TensorFlow and the PyTorch frameworks. What's the requirement for this course? We assume you know C and C++ programming very well. We're not going to introduce these basic concepts. There are plenty of C and C++ tutorials online that you can find other tutorials. You can ask you a few questions to see if you can fulfill the requirement. First of all, you should know how to write loops and functions in C or C++. You should know how to manage memory with malloc and the new keyword. You are skillful using pointers and arrays in C and C++. And you know how to use some basic containers such as vectors in C++. And also knowing parallel program will be a big plus for this course, but it's not really required. We're going to introduce parallel program in the second section of the whole video series. Now, we do require you to have a computer that runs a Linux system that is either a Ubuntu or send OS system. You may need to install Rockham software stack if you want to recreate the examples that we're talking about in this video series. And at this link, you can find the heap installation guide. We also use Visual Studio Code as our default program editor. And we constantly use VS Code Remote and the SSH mode to access code that is located on a server. You also probably want to have a GPU. There are some, there are some of the Rockham supported GPUs like AMD Vega GPUs, AMD Radeon 7, AMD MI series GPUs, or Radeon Pro W6800 GPUs. Having those GPUs ha at hand are not strictly required, but you will need these GPUs to repeat the programs on your platform. And also, the documentation of Rockham is very important. We're not going to introduce everything that is related to Rockham in these videos. So you may have to access this particular location to access the Rockham documentations to have a full list of functionalities that is supported by Rockham. And finally, we're going to provide examples, question and answer, supports, and assignments at this particular location that is on github.com as even heap program examples location. And the whole video series will be divided into a few sections. And currently we're in the first section, that is an introduction. We're going to have an overview of the whole course and introduce you with GPUs, Rockham platform, and heap program language. In the second unit, we're going to introduce parallel programming. It's not about GPU. It provides the prerequisite knowledge for parallel programming and how to convert a serial program to multi-threaded programs. And in the third and the fourth section, we're going to introduce how to write heap programs. In the fifth section, we're going to talk about the GPU internals, especially about AMD GPU architectures. We're going to introduce how to understand GPU assembly, what instructions are being executed and how those instructions are being executed by AMD GPUs, and understand the memory hierarchy. Understanding the GPU architecture can help you understand the mechanism behind the performance optimization method. And finally, in the sixth unit, we're going to introduce Rockham tools. There are several GPU management tools and debuggers and profilers that can make your development experience much easier. And in these videos, we're going to introduce how to use those tools. We're also going to introduce some more advanced topics. We're going to introduce performance optimization method in two series of videos. We're going to introduce how to use heap libraries to accelerate your program and how to control multi-GPUs in one program. Finally, we're going to demonstrate how to use machine learning with Rockham. Basically, we're going to use the PyTorch framework and the TensorFlow framework. Starting from the next video, we're going to introduce you why we want to use GPUs.